Hi, and welcome to Girl Talk. Woo! We are a handful this morning. We are in Beaufort, South Carolina. It's an absolutely glorious morning. We are at Lynn Monday home, and we have the one and only Lynn Monday with us. Hello. Thank you very How are much. You? And we, adorable Erin Lentz has joined Jesus. us Good also. Morning. And it's really a fun day. Every time we come, every time I come, the store is completely different. It's inspiring. So if you get a chance to walk by, take a look. You can get some pretty amazing uh, inspirations and ideas for your home. I'm really excited. One of the things that you shared that you wanted to talk about today as a designer is a bit about form and function when you're designing a home. Yes. Um, in, in a home, often we forget about the function of a room or we forget about what it looks like. So you have to take into consideration each room, including your entrance hall, including your master, including your um, living room, and each room has a reason. Okay. So you have to take into consideration that reason. Then you have to take into consideration, do I have guests through this room? Let's say in the entrance hall, you want it to be welcoming. Yes. You wanted to say a little bit about you. Maybe it's a fabulous piece of art. Maybe it's a grand mirror. Maybe it's an antique piece. Maybe it's a very sleek modern piece with modern lamps. It could be any of those, but it's to set the tone of your house all the way through. If they never make it past the front door, this is if, what they if, do know about you. Mm -hmm. if, they meet, if you meet a client, if Erin were your client and you were just meeting her, mm -hmm. do you talk to her a bit, or let me ask, how do you talk to her? Do you ask her what her lifestyle's like? We just said she has five kids. Important, right. very important. That would be the function. Yes, <laughs> that's definitely, the house has to function for five right. kids. Yes. And also these kids are eventually going to marry. They're also going to have children someday. They may not be at that age right now, but we have to take into consideration all of that too. Mm -hmm. So this house would have to function probably in a lot of ways. Probably we don't need all five bedrooms, but, but we definitely need a lot of bedrooms. And continue to keep your functionality with five kids and Absolutely. also and beautiful aesthetics. <laughs> Absolutely, you can. Okay. We are now using indoor outdoor carpets inside, oh, you know, oh, wow. so the dog really? can come in and pee on it. You wipe, you wash it off. Right. You know, the kids Seriously. come in with muddy, you take it outside and hose it down. Right. So we are using them. They're beautiful. Some of them are absolutely gorgeous. That's function. That is function. It's working for you. you know what's it's beautiful in form because it stays beautiful. Exactly. What's interesting to me that you're talking, you with your children, I'm at a different stage, you and I are at different stages. Yes. We're really talking a lot about aging in place and making your home a kind of a forever home yes. with forethought. Yes. And that's that form versus function. Right. What are some things that you think are particularly important? Um, lighting. Okay. Lighting at, at some point is function. At other points, like in the powder room, we're not functioning in there. Right. This is your face. It's supposed to look good. It right. can be sconces and low lighting and, and a beautiful mirror and a wonderful sink and faucets. It, you know, you're telling a story about a little bit about you, whether you're elegant or whether you're casual or whether you're whimsical or whether you're fun or you're whatever you are, that powder room should reflect that. From a form and function place, do you have a signature? I've always wondered to ask you that. When I walk into a home, is there something that I would look at and say, you know, if I were a betting woman, I would say Lynn did this home. I'm going to say I hope not. Okay. And the reason I say I hope not, it is not my home. It's their home. I love you for that. That's it's their beautiful. home. Yes. And it's, it's, about, yeah. it's about them. And yeah. I want, when I disappear, for them to talk about their home and what they did in it. I don't even want them to mention me. Unless they have a really high-end client that really needs a lot of help, yes. then I want you to mention me. Right. So you're basically <laughs> telling their story yes. through, right. their, through your design skills yes. in their landscape, I keep them whatever from they making give you. mistakes. Okay. Uh, measurements are the, some of the most important things. Um, making sure that what I put in your house is of great quality for the price. Yes. I want you to have the very finest that I can buy mm -hmm. um, that works for you, right, financially or otherwise. Um, it, you know, works for a family of five. You're not going to put a little table that on a seats four. Right. It's just not going to work. <laughs> and then that's form and function. You realize that this is a large family. If they gather together on holidays or whatever, they may have a friend or two. So we need a tent. 10, at least at that table. Lynn, at what so. point in time do you like to come into the design process? Do you, if Very someone beginning. is building? Before, okay. after the architect tells me I've got free reign. Okay. 
Like a you, blank slate. Yeah, a blank slate. Ideal. Usually architects like me because oh, yeah. I think architecturally. Mm -hmm. And you know, if the bones are good, my job's easy. Yes. If the bones are lousy, my job's hard. Right. Yes. So, you know, I can create taller windows by doing certain things. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can create it, but if they're right already, it helps a lot. Mm -hmm. It really does. So I like to go in at the beginning. I like to talk to the architect and the client. Sometimes the client says things to me that the architect didn't catch, like maybe he likes to bathe. Exactly. And we didn't even think about ha putting a, a tub, tub in, in his, for him. his bathroom. Interesting. Nobody even thought about it, mm -hmm. but he likes to bathe. So I caught it, so I go to the architect and say, you know, we, we need, need to put a... Our, mm -hmm. yeah. These are things while well, working together. I don't earn money that way necessarily. Mm -hmm. Although I do charge for specifying and specking is, Do you do all the specking? I charge $5 a square foot. Okay. So when they finish, I've done everything. But it's nice to have that whole broad it's spectrum. It's complete thought. It makes beautiful it's sense. It's not even half thoughts. <laughs> do people get attached to their furniture and their things? And can you integrate sort of yes. the old and the new? Yes, and you should. Okay. It is part of their heritage, part of history. I think every room should have some history. Uh, it should s say something about your family. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't want to say anything about your family, <laughs> right. but, so take it out. Right, exactly. Throw it in the trash right. and get rid of it. I do think that at some point in your life you need to edit, you know, get rid of the junk. Yes. You know, maybe a little bit of sentimental, but that squirrel is tattered and mm -hmm. he gave it to you in first grade. And, you know, it's over. But some pieces you do want to have. Yeah, stand but pieces that have, uh, that have, uh, you know, um, longevity. And are capable of actually increasing in value. Yeah, inherent value, art, things like that. Yeah, and sentimental too. I agree with some sentimental stuff. I think you know we do get attached that way too. Exactly. Whenever we talk to you, the time goes so quickly, and you're extremely articulate. Talking about form and function is really um, an interesting subject. And I think, what can they do? It's got good takeaway. Great. Take and here's my today. takeaway: <laughs> go edit some of the things in your house. I mean, right. I think that makes a lot of sense. Stay with us. There's a lot more to come here on Girl Talk.